Hi guys, welcome to episode 13 of my No Time to Explain Remastered Speedrun Guide. In this episode we take a look at the uh, Rejected Clone Universe. Start by skipping the cutscene and then you can uh, shoot downwards to, to go down to the, to the bottom of that. It doesn't really save that much time, but uh, just everything counts in the end, right? So, this guy's movement is uh, kind of the reverse of the straight jacket universe movement uh, where you would fall towards your cursor uh, or towards the, uh, the little marker on the screen in this case it is the opposite so it's kind of a, a slingshot where you shoot him like that um, you have a maximum of how far you can can pull it out uh, something like this and usually it takes quite a long time for it to actually go all the way out so like move it out there but you don't have to wait for it to go all the way out for any of the uh, the jumps usually um for the first level try and land around here it's uh something like this go and try to land here and now the uh whole bane of the existence for uh, new players is try to learn all of the angles for all of the jumps um, this one is a fairly uh, shallow angle something like uh, like that you can make it easy, fairly easily make it into the portal um, hang on a second let's just try it again and uh, the reason why you want it to be shallow is because you don't want to hit those spikes like that um, here you want to walk off and try to aim around here and land around here avoiding those spikes and those spikes shoot down so you land around here and over and into the portal fairly standard stuff that is just it's most practice mostly practice that uh, comes into play here uh, this is one of the uh, harder levels actually uh, probably the second or third hardest uh, and usually <laughs> causes me trouble as well um, because this first jump up here uh, can actually be uh, quite tricky um, to help you get over it or get through more easily is you uh, do a jump before shooting so something like uh, like this and uh, you would most likely hit up here you can let go of the wall by pressing to the right here for example and uh, and that makes you fall down instead of having to walk all the way down there and then you would even even then you still have to press right so just go like this here jump over shoot downwards land here and down here uh this the for this jump there's two options try to go a, a little less uh power so you only make it up like up uh into the uh the clear space that can be a little hard to pre or uh, precisely do uh, so what I like to do is go full power and then just react fast uh, and shoot downwards um, because otherwise you will hit those uh, top spikes up there uh, like like uh, kind of like this and you don't want that obviously so yeah whichever uh, way you prefer this one is the faster one but it's also a little riskier and a little hard to uh, to do properly um, otherwise you can do something like this. And uh, yeah, then just into the portal. This is the uh, fastest level. It's just one jump. Uh, so yeah, jump first, and then as much power going to the left as possible to make it into there. Here, I like to um, like let myself fall down and then shoot to the left. Uh, so something like uh, like this. You can land here. Not really ideal, but it's okay. Oh. That's uh, wrong. And uh, just getting the timing to not hitting those spikes is, uh, is essential. Uh, as you have probably noticed, you cannot respawn on walls. So you have to land on uh, ground in order to, to actually get the respawn. So like if I, if I land up here, I will respawn on the ground. Uh, for this one, it is kind of the same as the, not the previous, but the one before, where if you go full uh, power, you will hit those spikes. You have a little bit more time to react on this one, so you can do like that. Otherwise, 
a little less power and then get into the clearing. Uh, for this one, you can just ignore the spikes. Uh, I don't know why the developers thought that you needed to do something like... Uh, oh. I, I don't even know how to do this because it's so hard um, to do the most likely intended way. Like something like this. Um, don't do that. Just shoot straight up and into the portal like that. Uh, and now for the uh, for sure hardest part of this world. Uh, because there is no flat surfaces to respawn other than the beginning here. Uh, so if you die at any point. Which will most likely be down like here. You go like oh no. Then you have to start all over. Uh, which can be quite brutal and you can lose a lot of seconds um so practice this one especially a lot it is very uh, very tough uh, there's nothing up here uh i don't know why they made that i think in the original game the unremastered one there was a hat up there there isn't in this for some reason um anyway this first jump is not too hard especially if you do a jump first land on this one Full, full power over and land here and now is where you need to be a little bit careful uh, what I usually like to do is actually take just a half a second and uh, line this up with that full power so I can like be roughly up there you don't need necessarily need to uh, not hit the spikes but it gives me like doing not full power gives me like like slight more uh, milliseconds to to react and and shoot into the portal it uh, can also be a, an advantage to actually be a little closer to these spikes down here. Um, so something like this here. Go up like that and then shoot into the portal. And uh, that's it for the uh, slime world. Make a, def a, a separate video on the auto scroll here. Um, hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the uh, next guide. Bye.